Peter, Peter okay. Barnes at the White House. Thank you very much. So what form will the stimulus plan take as it moves through the United States Senate? Let's ask Republican Congressman Mary Fallon from Oklahoma. Congresswoman, thank you for coming in. First, I got to ask you about TARP. I know we, we uh, asked you on to talk about the stimulus, but these new plans to cut back or have perhaps more interference from the folks inside the Beltway on how banks spend their money. Are you for or against this? Well, I'm waiting to see what all the proposals are, but basically we believe that we need more accountability, more transparency, and we need those who are receiving the federal funds to show us how they're using the money. And we haven't always had that information forthcoming, and I think we have every right, and the taxpayers have every right to know that information. So on transparency, it sounds like you're in line with the new president. Well, I'm in line to see what we can do to bring that information forward, to have it presented publicly. In fact, I'd like to even see it be online, how that money's being spent. There's been some revelations the last couple of days about how some of the money has been given out has been used for bonuses or vacations or, you know, all kinds of things. And those just things just aren't right. There are a lot of people who are suffering financially, and to see some of the top CEOs using that money extravagantly has not sat well with the public nor with Congress. Well, Congresswoman, here Here's what I got online last Friday. This is the House bill, and I know what you I know you know what I'm thumbing through here, the 680 pages more or less of what is more I think can be described as pork than can be described as stimulus. Would you agree? Well, I don't consider it a stimulus bill. I consider it a big spending bill. In fact, I consider it to be like a big Christmas tree. It's got a present for everybody under this tree. And if we want to have programs that have spending in it, then put it in a regular appropriations bill, not into something that we're calling a stimulus package. You know, a little of this money will go to actually creating jobs, giving taxpayers back money in their pockets helping small businesses, helping the middle class. Majority of the money is going to social programs that have not been passed through Congress. And that's what's been disheartening about this whole debate. If we're really serious about helping hurting families, helping businesses get back on their feet and doing it very quickly, why do we put this controversial stuff in a spending bill like this? Well, you, you talk about social program. This, this is one, just one page of the report. A digital to analog converter box program, $650 million. $650 million for education, consumer support, and outreach, I guess, to teach people how to use digital as compared to analog. It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? No, there's there's pages upon pages of things like that. 300 million for sexually transmitted disease. There's some money in there for Filipino war veterans. And while some of these things may have admirable reasons of, of support, they're not really designed to stimulate an economy. And you know, I heard one congressman say, or actually it was one of our senators say, that we're spending money we don't have on programs that we don't really need. Things that might be kind of nice to fund, but really aren't going to stimulate right. the economy. And I don't know about everybody else, but I'm pulling back on my spending, and I know majority of my constituents are really pulling back right. on their spending. Well, in fact, a lot of constituents are writing into their Congress people and their senators, and, and you even have Democrats like Bill Nelson saying that uh, this thing probably shouldn't pass as, as it was sent to them from the House. So what will the Senate do? What's your best guess? Well, I'm hoping we can put a little pressure on the Senate that they'll follow the House leads. You know, one of the things you have to recognize about the stimulus so-called package in the House is there was bipartisan support against the bill that was put forth, but there was not bipartisan support for the bill that was put forth. In other words, Democrats voted against the bill, but there were no Republicans who voted for the big government, big brother spending bill. And so as it goes to the Senate, I hope some of the senators will pay attention to what the people are saying and, and actually you know, have some sense and step back and say, let's look at ways that we can work together with President Obama to have tax cuts, to have things that will really create jobs for small business that will help stimulate our economy and do it immediately to bring relief. All right. Mary Fallon, Congresswoman from...